Here is your homework number 15. The big tip-off is how many terms it has. Either we're going to factor cubes or we're factoring by grouping. This only has two terms. So which one are we looking for? Grouping or hoping it's cubes? Cubes, because it's only two terms. Okay. Eight. Remember, that's a perfect cube. C to the third, sure thing. And then we have a number. 343. There's only so many things it could be. The trick is to look at the units digit, right? 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. doesn't matter how many powers you go up, the units digit's a 1. So this can't be anything that, it can't be like 11 times 11 times 11. 2 just goes even numbers, so it can't be that. 3, it could feasibly be 3 to a power. 4, but we already know 3 to the third is 27, so that's not hopeful. 4 just goes 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 5, just goes 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Take 5 to any power, it ends in a 5. Take 6 to any power, it ends in a 6. 9 just goes 9, 1, 9, 1, 9, 1, 9, 1. 8 just goes even numbers. What's that leave us with? It's got to be 7 or 3. That's the only things that when you keep multiplying by itself, you get a unit's digit that ends in a 3. So what's 7 times 7? 49. What's 49 times 7? 343. All right? So that is a perfect cube. Here's all we have to do. Two sets. What goes in the first spot? Fernandez, what goes in the first spot? Two, and then the letter part? Good job. Lonnie, what goes in the second spot? We just talked about it a lot. What number times itself times itself is 343? There you go. Okay. Bagby, what goes here then? Four, and then the letter part? C squared, fantastic. Hector, what goes to the very, very end? Squared? Forty-nine. Because this number is squared. 7 squared. Brandon, what goes in the middle? Look at your notes. What goes in the middle? Right? Okay. So what's this one times this one? 14 in the letter part? C. Good. Can't forget those letters. And then, Tim, what do we do with the signs? Stop. Same, opposite, positive. Done. Okay, any questions on that one? Nope. You can try to factor it. I'm going to say it does not factor, though. Brandon, questions? Are you sure? You say you're lost a lot, and then you say you don't have questions. All right. Number 20. It's got four terms, so we're probably going to factor this one by grouping. On the left, what's the biggest thing I can take out? N squared. Good. That leaves me with N plus 5. Then over here, we probably want to take out something so I have N plus 5, or you can just look and say, hey, negative 9 looks promising. That would leave me with N plus 5. Same thing on the inside? Yeah? Is it the same thing inside the parentheses? Yep. So if you get the same thing on the inside, it's whatever's on the outside times whatever's on the inside. Factoring by grouping, you always have to do that last check. Are either of those a uh, perfect square binomial or perfect cube binomial? First one is. Those are perfect squares. So the n plus 5, we're going to keep the same. But this one, we're going to say n, n, 3, 3, plus, minus. Done. 